to the first episode of Local Liberty. I'm your host, Brian Saucier, and together with, your, with our co-host, Shane Goodrich, we are going to be bringing a, a different conversation to the local community. That's going to be the conversation about liberty. So, what is liberty? Liberty is an individual's ability to live their life free of external force or coercion. Liberty is self-ownership, where an individual owns their entire body, their mind, and their time. And we're going to talk about that in a lot more detail later. In addition to owning your own time and body and mind, you recognize and respect that same ownership in others. Why should you care about liberty? You may not really realize it at this point, but everything we value as good in our lives comes from exercising our own liberty or sharing in the exercise of liberty with others. Everything that, that we see that's good in the world has, has come from the use and exercise of liberty. You may have heard this word before, liberty. Uh, it gets tossed around a lot, sometimes very lightly. Uh, the way we're going to talk about this is, is the kind of liberty that is going to send most politicians, most bureaucrats, uh, it's going to send them running for the hills. Uh, this is, uh, is going to be a show about, about liberty that's focused strictly on individuals. It's, uh, it should be clear to, to everybody that's, that's looking at things uh, with an open mind that the direction that this country's headed, you can, you can say a lot of things about it, but the one thing I think that's clear is we're heading in a direction where people are going to have less liberty, where our children and our grandchildren are going to have less freedom, and less liberty than we've grown up with and our parents have grown up with. Uh, maybe you you may think that's a good thing, and you may think that's a bad thing. Um, I'm of the position that it's a that's a very bad thing, and that's that's why I'm here. That's why I want to do this. Sh I want to I want to be part of this show as a uh, as an educational tool to to spread what I think is is one of the most important ideas that we've come up with as a people in. Thousands of years. Liberty is, is a, one of the most powerful and important concepts that we've invented in a very long time. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to present a uh, uh, we're going to start off with a list of what we consider the foundational concepts of liberty, and these have been uh, we've we've already got a head start on, on recording these. You're going to see some of those tonight, um, and and really we're just going to touch on some. Uh, we're just going to scratch the surface on a lot of potentially deep, uh, deep topics, and this show is, is hopefully to to spark your interest and to get your own search for answers uh, pointed in the right direction. Uh, this show is not going to be for for folks that are that think that the way things are going are, are great. That you're probably not going to like what we have to say. Um, but if you're if you're feeling uncomfortable about where we're headed, you're not sure why. Um, or you're not sure where it's going to take us, uh, we hope this is going to this is going to spark your search for answers and put it in the right direction. Um, you've probably heard the saying that there's there's nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come, um, and that's really what I think this show is about. I don't expect any immediate results. I don't expect any vast changes to occur overnight. As and obviously we're not the only people in this country or in this world talking about this. You can go online and find all sorts of information about what we're going to talk about and lots of other people doing the same thing as this. But as far, but this is the, the first show, as far as I know, of in our community talking about liberty. Um, and we're not interested in, in turning the clock back to any point. We're not saying that there was any, any period where liberty used to exist. Liberty, as we're describing it, is somewhere that we're headed as a people. And it's, uh, it, it, we're not going to get there without some learning and without some work. So that's what this show's about. Uh, and I'm going to turn over to my uh, our co-host, Shane, to share his thoughts. Thank you, Brian. Uh, for me, this show is a chance just to express my viewpoints to the viewers. Brian and I, we're both interested in, in making people freer, 
but we're not always in agreement on the details, and, and you won't be, always be in agreement on the details, but that's not so important. It's just about bringing the concepts um, into the open. Sometimes you're going about your everyday life. I know I've done this for years. And you don't really think about uh, the impact of your actions. You don't think about what, what you're voting for, what the politicians you like are doing or not doing, what, how the policies in, in, the, in your local community are affecting other people. Um, there might be various things, various laws that you have supported for years. You think these make sense. You think these are helping people. And, and you're not aware of the consequences. I just hope to enlighten you about what actually happens with these laws, what, what actually is going on with, with the politicians in power, how the government is actually functioning. You might agree with the way the government is functioning. After, after explaining these things and dive, dive, dwelling into depth in them, you might go, oh, that makes sense to me, I'm going to continue supporting these policies. Or you might change your mind, but I just want people to have an understanding of what they're supporting, what they're doing. How, how the laws in our community are affecting the members of our community. How, how the politicians you're voting for and the policies they want to enact affect me, affect Brian, and affect everyone else. We're all living in a community and we all want to do different things with our lives. Um, and some things that we do may affect others. Some things that we do we, we may not, we may like while someone else may not like. But we, but we must, we need to understand how legally and how the force of law affects people. It's, it's one thing when someone says, I don't agree with X, Y, or Z practice. It's another thing when someone says, I think that should be illegal. When should we make something illegal? When is it right to use force against someone? When is it that accept, an acceptable policy? Um, and it's going to differ between different people. Some people are going to say, oh, well, it's acceptable to use force in this situation. It's acceptable force to use that situation. But all, all I really want is just to have an open conversation about these things. And you can come to your own conclusions, but, but I hope I can convince you that freedom is good for people. Freedom to live your life how you see fit without the interference of others is beneficial. Uh, when you're not free, when you can't pursue the goals you want, it, it's, it's devastating for your psyche. If you can't do the things you want to do, if you're a, a local farmer who's producing um, unpasteurized milk and now somebody comes and tells you hey you can't sell that anymore that that is affecting your life and other people are now telling you you know what this is unsafe and you can't do it and maybe you think oh well they shouldn't be able to do that but you, you but you really need to understand these issues if someone came to you and said you can't do something well why can't I do that and whenever you vote for laws whenever you have your politicians of power saying oh well, we need to regulate this or that you're, you're in the end going to affect individuals' lives. Even if you're not thinking about this, you need you should think about that. So I'm just some dude, you know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but we're going to have this conversation, and we hope to have you involved. And now bring it back to Brian.